Silverstone, the day of the British Grand Prix, round 10 of the 1975 World Championship. On a grey day's threatening rain, it's quiet in the pits. Calmly and efficiently, the mechanics nurse their charges along. This new speedster comes from the stables of Lord Heskett, already victorious in the Dutch Grand Prix. South African Jody Schechter's Tyrrell Ford. Ronnie Peterson of Sweden's John Player Special. Great attention is being paid to tyres today. More checking, double checking. The excitement mounts. Number seven, the Martini Brabham of Carlos Reutemann. Tony Bryce's car is driven for him to the starting grid by Graham Hill, just retired. Jarrier of France in 17. Tom Price, Great Britain. Hesketh driver, James Hunt. The reigning champion, Emerson Fittipaldi. He's driving a Texaco Marlboro McLaren. Italian ace Clay Riccatoni, Ferrari. Brazilian Carlos Pacci is one of those racing aristocrats, a Grand Prix graded driver, as is Nicky Lauda in Ferrari number 12. Carlos Reutemann. From Germany, Jochen Mass. Rain is still threatening, but holding off. So the team mechanics have taken a gamble. Slicks, treadless tyres have been fitted, but nobody dares look at the sky. Least of all the champion, Emerson Fittipaldi. And the British Grand Prix is underway. Like lizards, they wriggle through the new chicane at Woodcut Corner. But rain on parts of the circuit is driving them into the pits for tyre changes. First in for a set of treads is Hans Stuck in his March Ford. Others will follow. In wet conditions, slick tyres are almost suicidal. Carlos Pachi screams through Beckett. Clay Regatoni going well. That chicane again doing what it's designed for, in the interest of spectator safety, to slow them down at this point to 100 miles an hour. There goes British hope, Tom Price. Fittipaldi. Nicky Lauder. Jody Schechter. Timing it nicely, the South African overtakes Mario Andretti's Panelli. The weather changes. Suddenly, treaded tyres are keeping speed down. So it's into the pits again for those smooth-faced slicks. The cars pull in. Dave Morgan Surtees gets a full set. Jody 
Schechter again. The Italian, Andretti. Fittipaldi is leading the field. And that can mean only one thing. It's pouring down. Suddenly, with cars almost water skiing now, those smooth slicks have become a terribly dangerous hazard. The casualties mount. Jody Schechter is among the victims. With cars spinning off all round the circuit, sensibly the race is called off. But deciding who's won calls for the rule book and the wisdom of Solomon. The Duke of Kent awaits the judge's decision and it's Brazilian Emerson Fittipaldi. And likely so, everyone agrees. He completed 56 laps out of 67 before the rains came at an average speed of 120 miles per hour. Second place, Carlos Pachi. Third, Jody Schechter. But the day has left sand little heaps of wreckage, a band of sorrowing drivers and the wisdom of using those smooth tyres very much in question. Whatever the outcome, the British Grand Prix of 1975 will always be known as the Battle of the Slicks. <laughs> <laughs>